This is a beautiful jewel of a painting. Small in size, about two feet by two feet, it was intended for use as a personal altar, so it can fold up, be easily carried, and placed where you wished. If we look at the upper right-hand wing of the painting as it opens, we see the image of the Virgin Mary. And if we look at that same quadrant on the left, we see an angel kneeling. Those two form an image of the Annunciation, the moment the angel Gabriel announces to Mary that she will bear the Son of God. Paintings by this artist, the anonymous master of the Aservanza, are characterized by intricate landscapes, pure colors, and decorative details. They tend to reflect the lives of the well-to-do and the nobles. We see that Mary is dressed very elegantly, her robe lined in rich gold with vermilion tones. We catch a glimpse of her embroidered gown underneath. And if we look over to the angel, his underrobe is beautifully embroidered and again gilded and decorated, very elaborate. Aside from this, there's simply a lot pictured in this narration. At the top, an angel announces to the three shepherds the birth of Christ. They are set in a landscape that would have been strikingly familiar to the original viewers of this painting. It may have been modeled from an area just outside of Siena, Italy. Setting holy scenes in local areas was common practice and was meant to help viewers imagine themselves and their world reflected in this holy world. At the bottom, there are the shepherds that visit Christ having the opportunity to see him and greet Mary and Joseph. Anyone using this for devotion would have seen the scene of Christ's birth and the annunciation of Christ's birth to the shepherds and to Mary. They would have been able to contemplate this full cycle, from annunciation to birth and adoration. We also see St. John the Baptist on the left, who also announces the arrival of Christ. We see his hand directing our gaze back to the manger, and St. Bartholomew on the right, a saint associated with Siena. And then, at the very top, just because you needed a reality check, it's the scene of the last judgment. And so your final contemplation might be of your fate and the ultimate arrival of Christ, how you wanted to achieve the fate on his right hand and not on his left.